from numerous planets visible in the night sky to Venus and Mars appearing so close together. Here are all the astronomical events for February 2024. Keep watching this video to learn more about what will happen in the night sky this month. So, starting on February 8, the thin 4% illuminated waning crescent moon will conjunct with Venus and Mars on the same night, creating a celestial trio that would be a magnificent sight before sunrise. The moon-Venus conjunction will occur at 18.52 Greenwich Mean Time with a separation of 5 degrees and 24 arc minutes, followed by the moon-Mars conjunction at 20.12 Greenwich Mean Time with a separation of 5 degrees and 22 arc minutes. They will be visible from the northern and southern hemispheres, low above the southeastern horizon in the constellation Sagittarius. Venus will be much brighter than Mars, appearing like a morning star before daybreak. However, the three celestial objects will be low on the horizon during this time, so you would need a clear view of the eastern horizon to increase your likelihood of witnessing the conjunction event. A conjunction is when two celestial objects appear so close together in the night sky, as seen from Earth. Now, the new moon will fall on February 10, making it the best time for stargazing and astrophotography because there will be no moonlight hampering the stars and other faint details in outer space. So, for those who want to travel somewhere dark and remote, this will be the best time to do so because you can stargaze all night if the sky remains clear of clouds. The first quarter moon will fall on February 16 and the full moon on February 24, called the full snow micromoon, since the full moon will be nearing its farthest approach from the Earth, called an apogee. You can refer to astronomy sites like moongiants.com to know when the other lunar phases would occur. The moon will later conjunct with numerous heavenly objects, starting with Jupiter on February 15, where you can see our natural satellite close to the most massive planet in our solar system occurring at 1.59 Greenwich Mean Time, with a separation of 4 degrees and 6 arc minutes. The moon will be close to being a first quarter phase, with 33% illumination before reaching the first quarter phase the following night. Then, the moon will proceed with a Pleiades star cluster, also called the Seven Sisters, at 5.22 Greenwich Mean Time, with a separation of 2 degrees and 36 arc minutes. The Pleiades is one of the most prominent, famous, and beautiful star clusters in the sky. However, spotting the star cluster can become challenging due to moonlight. Finally, on February 22, we will have two events on this night, with the first one being the Moon-Beehive Conjunction, where our natural satellite appears close to the Beehive star cluster in the Cancer constellation. The Moon will be in its waxing gibbous phase with 94% illumination this night, making it challenging to spot the star cluster. At the same time, we will also have a Venus-Mars conjunction on the same night, occurring at 10.31 Greenwich Mean Time with a separation of 38 arc minutes. The pair will be visible from the northern and southern hemispheres, low in the southeastern sky before sunrise in the constellation Capricornus. However, you will need a clear view of the eastern horizon to find the two celestial bodies rising in the night sky before sunrise. The moment makes it a magnificent opportunity to spot and photograph two planets in the same night, greeting you with a sight if you wake up early. Moreover, for those living in the Southern Hemisphere, the Milky Way core would already rise high in the sky, greeting them with a magnificent view of the brightest and one of the most beautiful parts of our galaxy. It is now one of the best times to photograph the galactic core after midnight, so for those who wish to do some Milky Way action with the center of our galaxy this month, the Southern Hemisphere, like Australia, would be your best bet. However, the Northern Hemisphere will have to wait for a month before the Milky Way core rises higher above the sky after midnight. To have a better chance of seeing the galactic core or other parts of the Milky Way galaxy, you would have to go somewhere dark and remote, far from a city, and position yourself to see as much sky as possible to the south. I will leave a link and an info card to another video explaining what you should do to see the galaxy with your eyes because you cannot do so in a city. So that's it for the highlight astronomical events for February 2024 guys. And yes, this is not very eventful in terms of what astronomical events you will be seeing in the night sky. But still, hopefully you will be able to witness the planets and the conjunction events that will be in the night sky this month. So that's it for the highlight astronomical events for February 2024 guys. And yes, it is not very eventful, 
in terms of the night sky events that we would end up witnessing for February 2024. But still, hopefully, you would be able to witness the planets, including the conjunction event, that will happen in February 2024. And, as always, clear skies and enjoy the universe before your eyes, and see you next time. And babush. Thank you.